Dear people watching and listening, kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Kindly support me through Patreon so that I can keep making such audiobooks for you. For your ease, the video has been divided into chapters, which can be found in the description. Izharul Haq, The Truth Revealed by Molana M. Rahmatullah Keranvi. This is the very book which empowered Sheikh Ahmad Didat with the knowledge of the Christian scriptures, which enabled him to challenge the claims of the Christians on Islam, the divinity of Jesus Christ, and their own religion as a whole. The book, internationally recognized as one of the most authoritative and objective studies of the Bible, was originally written in Arabic under the title Izharul Haq by the distinguished 19th century Indian scholar Molana Rahmatullah Keranvi and appeared in 1864. The book was subsequently translated into Urdu and then from Urdu into English by Muhammad Wali Razi. The present publishers are bringing the Wali Razi translation out as a series in several installments of which this is the three parts put together. Molana Rahmatullah wrote the book in response to the Christian offensive against Islam in British Indian and specifically to counter the subversive attack made by the Reverend CCP Fonder, who had written a book in Urdu entitled Mizanul Haq the open intention of which was to cast doubts into the minds of the Muslims about the authenticity of the Qur'an and Islam. Part 1 The Books of the Bible The Second Division of the Old Testament There are nine books in this part. The authenticity of these books has been a point of controversy among Christians. The Protestant faith, for instance, does not acknowledge the divine origin of these books and they have discarded them from their Bible. They do not form part of the King James Version of the Bible. The collection of these nine books and five other books together, called Apocrypha. 1. The Book of Esther Esther was a Jewish woman who was among the captives from Jerusalem in Babylon. Ahasuerus, the king of Persia, was unhappy with his first wife and married Esther. A man, a minister of the king, had some differences with Mordacius, the father of the queen Esther. He plotted to destroy the Jews. Esther convinced the king to combat this plot and saved the Jews. This book describes this event in 10 chapters. 2. The Book of Baraj Baraj was disciple and scribe of the Prophet Jeremiah The Protestant Bible does not include this book. 3. Part of the Book of Daniel 4. The Book of Tobias Tobias was a Jew who had been taken to Assyria in the period of exile. The book describes a dangerous journey made by him and his son. It also includes the event of his marriage with a strange woman, Sarah. This book has great literary merit. 5. The Book of Judith this book is ascribed to a very brave Jewish named Judith. She saved and delivered her people from the oppression of the king of Assyria. It also includes the story of her love. 6. Wisdom of Solomon This book is ascribed to the Prophet Solomon It contains wise saying of the Prophet and is similar in many ways to the book of Proverbs. 7. Ecclesiasticus This is a collection of preachings and exhortations. 
it is attributed to Masiya, a preacher in circa 200 BC. This book is also of great literary merit. 8. The First Book of Maccabees This book describes the rebellion of the tribe of the Maccabees. And 9. The Second Book of Maccabees This book describes the history of a short period of time and contains some unbelievable or corrupt reports.